Hi, and thanks for choosing Render Forest Website Builder. This video will be a tour around the platform to help you feel more comfortable with the options our Website Builder offers. By the end of this video, you will be able to build your own professional-looking website with no coding knowledge or previous experience. Just a few steps and a website with a bunch of creativity will be ready. Categories Templates On the Website Builder page, you will see categories to create a beautiful business, lifestyle, personal, event, nonprofit, art, or coming soon website. No matter the topic, our free website builder has templates for all types of industries. Select the category that matches your purpose and explore. Remember that there are two ways for creating a website project on Render Forest. You may start from scratch by adding the desired components one by one or simply refer to the preset templates that have been designed by our content and design teams with specific themes. Let's go through the steps you need to take if you want to build a website using the template option. Luckily, there's quite a wide range of choices. Simply choose the category and the template from this list. Click on the one that best fits your requirements and see how the template looks on different devices from the above menu. Once you are happy with your choice, you can click on the edit button and start the editing process. You can always click the back icon to switch to the templates list. This is what the website editor looks like. As you've already chosen a ready-made website template, mostly all you need is to add your content, text, images, and videos to make it represent your business. A header is actually the first thing your customers will see when loading your website. In the header of the website, customers usually find the company name, logo, short description, and navigation links. Here you can see the component settings bar, where you can change the background image mode to dark, light, and extra light. Replace the background image, adjust the transparency, or delete if needed. An important element that will be nice to have included on a website header is the company logo, ad logo. You can upload a file from your device, embed an image URL, use a stock image, create a logo that will take you to the logo maker tool, or select my file section, where you will find your created and exported logo project with the logo maker tool. To add links to the header component, click the add link button. This can be a link to an external website, a component on the main page, or take you to a page that you will create later. Social media icons are an important part to include in order to keep the touch between the user and the company on social media platforms. You can add a new social media icon, customize the added icon by linking a social media URL, editing the icon, or delete it from this list. Color is also an essential aspect of design because it is what the website visitor notices first. Find numerous color presets. Presets are combinations of colors created by our designers, and now you just need to choose the one you like the most. As well, you can create your own color palette in the Your Colors section. Explore the color wheel, experiment, and create color palettes that will fit your brand's image. Use hex color codes to find the preferred colors faster. Hex is a system used in HTML, CSS, and SVG. Each hex code refers to a very specific color. In the Styles area, you can change the corner radius of all the elements. It's a small touch, but it can change the whole appearance. On the upper left side, you can see all the pages that you have added. You can organize all of them, duplicate, delete, rename, or add a new one. For example, make an About page, Price page, or News Update page. This will be added to the domain name after the slash. After adding a new page, you will be able to set up the page metadata in the settings section. Here you can find the flip, duplicate, replace, and delete buttons. With a flip component, all the elements on the left side go to the right side and vice versa. Duplicate will make an exact copy of the component. Replace lets you swap for a different component, and delete will get rid of that specific component. If you make a mistake, don't worry. Just like the other tools on Render Forest, use the arrows at the top to go back and undo. If you want to add more components to your new website, you can do it with the help of Plus Component. First, click the Plus Component to open the Components list. Then, select the component that matches your requirements the best and add it with this Plus button. 
text holder components will help you to include more information about your company or write some posts. Here you can set the font style, bold italic, or underline with text adjustment options. You are able to set the text alignment, right, center, or left, and also select one word or phrase, add a link to it, and adjust the link settings. This means that the users can click on that active word and get redirected to another page, site, or component. Next, you would want to add information about your team. Simply click the Add Component button again and choose one of the suggested team components. Set a link here that will redirect the image accordingly once clicked. Plus add social media icons that will take the users to your team members' social media accounts. You will also be able to add a new block if necessary. Scrolling down, you can see a video holder is available on some of the templates. What you can do is replace the video by adding a link from a video publishing platform, such as YouTube or Vimeo. PayPal If you are selling certain products or services, you are running a donation-based website or any other type of platform that requires accepting payments, then you might want to consider integrating PayPal Checkout into your project. This component is an integration of the PayPal Checkout functionality where you can start customizing the settings to suit your needs. Simply add your PayPal email and account details to the component so that the payments can be directed to the correct account. After adding your PayPal email and account details, you can set the type of button that you want to use. The component allows you to choose between a pay button and a donate button. If you choose the pay button, it will allow your customers to make payments for the products or services that you are offering. On the other hand, if you choose the donate button, it will allow your website visitors to make donations to your cause or organization. Privacy Policy Component A privacy policy is a statement that explains what kinds of personal information you collect from your website visitors and how you use this. If you collect personal information like names, email addresses, IP addresses, session activity, and payment details, we recommend including a complete privacy policy section or page on your website. Testimonies are used for reviews and quotes from current or former clients. Add your client's picture or logo with their testimony. With email forms, you can collect the email addresses of your visitors. To finalize your website, add a footer which is located in the bottom part and sums up all the important information and links. Note that all the components are customizable. You can change the colors, styles, and images and type your own text. One of the most useful tips available on the tool is the invite function, which you can use to share a link to the project editor with a contributor to make further edits. Here you can set the expiry date and time and get the link for sharing. The widget section is where you can organize the communication between your users through messengers or live chats. Set the position of the widget on the overall site, connect the messengers with a link, phone number, or username, or integrate one of the live chats with a simple chat ID or token. Once you connect a messenger, you will be able to customize the widget window, such as adding an image, name, message, and button text. Do not forget to click Save to have these changes applied to the widget settings. Here you can see the most important section on the admin panel, the Website Settings window. General. This is the section where you can add the website name, get the sitemap of the website, upload a favicon to make your site recognizable in a browser full of tabs and windows, add a social image to have the preview of the site when sharing the link publicly, and finally, attach an email to receive all the form submission emails. Domain. This is where you will give your project an actual address by attaching a custom domain name or hosting it on a free RenderForest subdomain. For a more professional look and trust, you'd better attach your company domain name to make your site secure. Adding a free SSL certificate toggle will be enabled once you set up the domain DNS setting by redirecting the domain to our specified records. Choosing a domain name is one of the most important aspects of building a website or an online presence in general. A domain name is a unique address for a website. A memorable domain will strengthen your branding and help your audience find your website. You can easily search and buy a domain through Render Forest. In the domain search box, see if your website name is available and the price. If you already have a domain, you can connect it using the Render Forest DNS system. Just remember, 
Whether you buy a domain from RenderForest or transfer it in, you can only connect it to the number of premium websites you have. If your plan includes a premium website, it will have a gold star in the My Websites project folder. Marketing Integrations We have various necessary integrations added to the settings, which you can use to collect and analyze the site data, Google Analytics, and manage and deploy marketing tags to collect and track marketing data with the Google Tag Manager. You can set up the Google AdSense ID and ads.txt to match ads on your site and also protect the advertisement inventory. You may also attach the Facebook Pixel ID to track and collect data from Facebook ads. All these options seem very simple since what you have to do is simply add the corresponding property ID. SEMrush is a marketing SaaS platform that provides SEO-related data. SEMrush analyzes millions of keywords, ads, and URLs each day. With the help of this integration, SEMrush Keyword Magic Tool, you can instantly get recommendations on SEO, content marketing, and advertising that will help you improve your online visibility in a short period. It will allow you to get real-time SERP analysis for your website without leaving the RenderForest editor. In the Cookie Settings tab, there are options for cookie banners and to enable GDPR compliance. With this simple cookie banner option, you can inform the site visitors that you are using cookies. Let's enable the Show Cookie Consent banner toggle and customize the cookie consent text. This is already a ready-made text you can use, then adjust the Accept button text. Here you can also enable GDPR compliance. Go to the Cookies tab from Website Settings, select the GDPR cookie banner, and click the toggle to enable. Languages RenderForest Website Builder also allows you to create a multi-language website. The latter will help you expand your reach and make contact with a much wider audience. There is a wide set of languages you may select for your website. The structure should be the following. Primary language, which will be the main language your website will be loaded with, and you may have multiple secondary languages added to your website. Once you add the languages, you can change the primary language with the flag icon that says Set Primary. Here, you can also find a visible hidden toggle and a delete option. To add a new language, click the Add Language button, select from the list, and adjust the settings. Do not forget about the Save button to apply all the changes. Clicking on the profile icons will open some shortcuts to navigate in RenderForest. Once you are done with all your edits, you can preview the site to check the applied changes. Does everything look great? Then, it's time to publish the website. Publishing the site is a necessity to apply all the changes and make them visible on the actual website address. Under this section, you also have the option to set website status to offline or online with a toggle. The website status defines whether a website is visible over the internet. Going offline will not delete your website. You can go back online anytime you want. Congratulations! You finished making your website. We hope this tutorial helped to explain the Website Builder tool. Check out the other videos in this series to learn more about using our individual tools and how to connect them together in order to build and boost your brand. We can't wait to see what you create. If you upload your project online, tag or mention us so we can see it. Let us know what questions you have. We're always happy to help.